Hi everybody, I'm Adam the Sporty OT today. Today I'm going to show you this little guy. This is called a resistance band or a TeraBand or DynaBand. One of those most popular therapeutic tools we use with kids and teenagers and even adults. It provides a really, really good exercise, stabilizes the shoulders, gets whole body workout if you use it right, but I actually see it used kind of very ineffectively a lot of the time. What this is very good for, because it's a progressive dynamic resistance, meaning if you pull it tighter and longer, the tension increases. So it provides, it's easy to scale, to be pretty easy, or very difficult in one thing, for whatever the level of ability and strength the child has. Now, when I see this given to kids, they sometimes will stand up, do bicep curls, but whatever they're doing, stretching like this, pulling over their head, it tends to be very fast and very dynamic with big releases. So they're not holding tension. They're going work release, pull release. It's very springy. There's very little of what we call TUT, or time under tension. This is especially important for my kids with autism who really want that heavy proprioceptive input. I've got to keep them in the work. I've got to keep them in this heavy work we're talking about. When I'm doing this, I'm doing heavy work. Nope. I'm doing flashes of heavy work half a second at a time. What I want to do is find a way to use this lovely tension and resistance to keep the benefits happening constantly. And that's what I'm going to show you this with a very, very simple little hack, okay? You're going to join me now over this side. And here we are. So this, guys, is a telescopic chin-up bar. Now, you don't need one of these, but it's a very simple, very easy thing to have. You'll get big benefits from this. But what I'm going to use it for is an anchor point for my band. You can use it over the door, you can use it on monkey bars, but this is just very handy, very easy to fit. Loop the band over the top and thread it into itself. Now that won't even get in the way of the door. You can use the door. You can actually leave this up there, as I do. I've only got two here side by side because I always do this exercise beside the child so they can follow along. And as soon as we've got this anchored now, and as soon as the child takes the tension, we see it's springy, we see this is taut, now they're doing good work already. Whatever happens next is going to be beneficial. They're already in the TUT, that time under tension. I'm going to use very clear verbal instructions. Instead of saying squeeze your rhomboids or anything anatomical, all I'm going to say to the child is touch your tummy. Touch. Simple as that. Really good strong work. Good. I can do say 10 repetitions. I tend to do time under tension on time, so I'll get them to do this for about 40 seconds. Then I'll change, maybe I'm going to say instead of touch your tummy, another very clear instruction, touch your legs. So we're going to keep their arms straight now and pull down. I don't have to tell them to keep their arms straight. If they're not, they will reach their legs. So we'll go down, touch their knees even, touching their knees. They're getting more tummy involved, they're flexing forward. It's a good, strong movement. Touch. Simple, simple. Now, to help you out, guys, I'm going to do a series with like 10 of my favorite resistance band exercises. They're, they flow very nicely from one to the other, and they're really, really simple to put into a classroom routine, movement breaks. My favorite thing for them is to have for my older kids in their morning routine, when they get out of bed, my heavy sensory seeking kids in the spectrum, they have them on their, almost all my boys have a trampoline in the room, so getting their bouncing on the trampoline, then they grab the resistance band and do some very simple little movements on this, some archers, some sea and aggies. We're gonna go through all of those in the next few uh, videos, okay? So we're gonna come back, stay tuned for more exercise on the resistance band. It's gonna become one of your very, very favorites, I promise, okay? Adam is 40 OT, right.